So I'm now going to move up to the very top menu here, at the top there, the focus menu, and run through a few of those um, commands in the top menu system settings. So moving along to the top menus, um, some of these will already have been covered. So the preferences menu we already looked at, which is the same as that one here. Um, hide focus, uh, hide others, quit focus, uh, capture. Um, useful thing there, the command N uh, option, if you want to use your keyboard to do a capture rather than pressing the orange button on the interface. Export, um, update firmware. Um, so this is for, for updating the firmware on your camera. Um, which will come to you via a download from the website. Uh, the uh, undo commands and then uh, the crop commands, save adjustments, last saved adjustments. So most of these commands we've already seen, but we haven't seen rotate clockwise, which is uh, self-explanatory, as you can see there, or rotate counterclockwise, or flip the image horizontal as well. So some useful um, features with the image section here. View, uh, a lot of these we've already covered. Can't see anything else different there. So just a repeat of some of the commands that are on the interface anyway. Window, zoom, minimize, minimize all. That's all your standard sort of uh, operating system type adjustments. Then we've got the uh, hide tools, show browser. And view in separate window, which is great if you're working on a dual screen setup. Also full screen viewer if you want to expand the focus window to fill the screen completely. And you can, again, create different layouts for different working uh, scenarios that you like and save those scenarios and different tool sets. Now the camera configuration is one that we're going to look at in more detail and the color calibrations uh, that we're going to look at next. So the camera configuration brings up this dialog and you will need your camera tethered to your computer to focus. And this gives you some great controls over the way your camera is configured, basically. Let me just move that out of the way. So if we look at the settings, I can actually choose to adjust the settings. So what I would need to do is create a new profile or a new set here. And I'm gonna just call this my config. And in my config, I can now go in and choose to adjust what the buttons do on the camera. So for example, on my Hasselblad, um, by default, they have the aperture setting on the top wheel and the shutter speed on this wheel. And I don't like that. I actually prefer it the other way around. I prefer to have the shutter speed on the top wheel and the aperture settings on the bottom wheel. And that's very easy to fix because I can go into camera configurator and I can choose to make these adjustments here. I can also choose what some of the menus, uh, the buttons on the back of the camera do, uh, as well as uh, specifying a number of different features for the focusing system uh, or different ways the camera works or is displayed, or what the functions on the front of the camera do, such as the self-timer, the mirror lock up, and basically just make the camera more user-friendly to suit the way that you like to work. And it really is that simple. Um, within the exposure settings, you can choose the increments of exposure, whether you want them in half stop settings or third stops or full stops. Uh, the color temperature when shooting in manual, uh, the delay time for the mirror, lots of uh, little more technical adjustments that you can apply. So you can completely customize the camera to suit how you like to work. And also we, uh, earlier we looked at the interval timer and the bracketing timer with the capture sequencer. And there are some of those controls in this 
camera configuration uh, panel as well. So that's the camera configurator. You can go in there, great deal to play around with uh, to set the camera up to your own shooting requirements. So in the uh, same menu under camera configuration, we also have color calibrations, but I'm gonna look at color calibrations using it from the menu over here in a moment. 